What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and this is going to be a full game breakdown between True Boy and Dubby uh, from week 5 of the Madden Ultimate League. I used to do full game breakdowns on this channel pretty consistently back when I first started, but I haven't done any in a while, mainly because I thought that they were just a little too long and wouldn't hold people's attentions, but I've been getting some recent feedback about you know possibly doing these again, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Now real quick, I did want to tell you guys I've been getting some messages recently about people wanting to play with me, people wanting to lab with me, and wanting me to send them any schemes that I have on the playbooks that they use, wanting me to take a look at their game footage, and as much as I would love to do all of that for you guys, um, my time has just been stretched very thin lately, not only with YouTube content, but then running the Twitter stats page I run for the Ultimate League, collaborating on other projects like the podcast with Lights Out collaborating with Madden Daily, and then on top of that, working a full-time job. So I just have to prioritize, and so something I want to start offering for you guys going forward, and something I've wanted to do for a while, and it's something I really, really enjoy doing, is game film breakdowns. So it'd be $20, and you guys would send me a game footage of one of your games, and basically I would send you back what you're going to see in this video, but more in depth. So however you want to share it with me, you want to email it to me, However you want to share it, you can stream it on Twitch, and I can go in. You can save it to your past broadcast, and I can download it from there. However you want to get it to me. Um, but basically, that's exactly what you would get back is going to be this video more in-depth. Anything I thought you could improve on, anything I thought you did really well, strengths, weaknesses, any type of insight that I could add and try and make you a better Madden player that an extra set of eyes might notice. On top of that, I would send you a PDF sheet kind of summarizing everything I go over in the video, kind of reiterating strengths, weaknesses, stuff like that on top of a scheme out of the playbook that you run both on offense and defense. So that would be included in you know the whole package. So if that would be something you'd be interested in, I'll go ahead and leave the link or the, the email address rather down below in the description. You can go ahead, just shoot me an email, tell me that you're interested and we'll take it from there. But yeah, that's something that I'm going to start offering for all of you guys going forward in Madden 18 and hopefully in Madden 19 as well. So onto the video, this is going to be Dubby versus True Boy. Like I said, Dubby with the ball first and he's out in Gun Bunch. And so, obviously, uh, if you guys don't know, Dubby runs West Coast on offense and New England on defense. And then, um, or he, he had been running New England on defense. And True Boy runs New England on defense. And I think this game he switched to Arizona on offense. He had been running Philly, but I, I'm pretty sure this game he switched to Arizona. I'll be able to tell uh, whenever a True Boy gets on offense. So, just a little backstory there with the playbooks. It looks like True Boy, the very aggressive look. Corner strike, first play. All right, so that was good. This was a weird defense. Is that Larry Wilson who blitzed off the right edge right there? So True Boy eight in the box. Yeah, he brings Larry Wilson off the edge, and so he inverted his right side, it looks like. So if you notice, this looks like some type of cover two shell. He's got a safety back there, and then he blitzed his right safety, and so he's dropping his cornerback. He inverted his cornerback, which means his linebacker has to shoot out to the flat, and he wasn't able to get out there quick enough on the table route, or not even the table route. It was just the tight end on the flat route from corner strike. So interesting first look by True Boy there. Fire zone two. So yeah, four three over fire zone two, and he was doing something, probably showing blitz to get that safety down to the line of scrimmage. See same look this time. Pa post easy read. Yep to the drag route so nothing much to say there W or er, true boy had looks like a cloud flat Larry Wilson and he sunk a little too far back nice easy six yard gain right there on the drag to Ted Ginn so W starting off with pretty safe reads here uh, corner strike PA post two very easy reads just flood the flat zone once again true boy sends six and this time see I don't like that W went with mesh post here like I feel like it's a little bit or there wasn't mesh post it was dig HP out I just, I don't know, he was having success with the easy quick reads, and if, if True Boy doesn't seem like he's changing out of that six-man pressure, um, I feel like he could have just stayed in corner strike probably until True Boy uh, got out of what he's doing, unless Dubby was expecting True Boy to, to switch it up since he had been dotting him uh, for the first two plays, but third and seven now, I guess he could afford to take a risk right there. So he's going to go dig HB out again, and this time he's able to get the, the route to develop. Nice spin move, and Ginn gets brought down. So let's see what happened here, why this was different. So six-man pressure, 
And it just looks like he picked up the pressure better this time. It, it was the same exact blitz. He even True Boy has a spy. Uh, so he actually sent six, spied one guy, and then had his user defender basically guarding the entire right side of the field. So you see the spy right there, True Boy's user right there, and then two deep safeties and a flat on the left. So yeah, basically as long as W was able to let this route combo develop, uh, True Boy was in a lose-lose situation. He had to pick between the in route and the uh, the deep post route from Dig Hat back out. And uh, obviously W was able to get the time. If you can get the time in the pocket, Dig HB out's going to be very successful. It's just it might be kind of random as if you if you're able to kind of pick up the pressure and not get instant block shedded. Um, so let's see right here. looks like another PA post over the middle. So True Boy still being very aggressive. W playing really well right now. 4 for 4, 61 yards. So it looks like he's definitely not having any trouble dotting up that fire zone too. I don't know if that was a defense True Boy thought he would have success with against W. I haven't seen him run that before. So uh, maybe he was just trying to catch him off guard. All right here looks like he went to 4-3 under. HB stretch left and you know solid run defense picks up two because he's Derrick Henry and falls forward first down first and goal so let's see once again 4-3 under from true boy single back ace from W little fake snap motion right to left HB dive and he gets nothing it's actually important here to note that W runs the dive to the left so if you guys have noticed oh with halfback dives and even other runs like halfback slams and stuff like that if you run it to the side of your quarterback's dominant hand, the handoff will be much quicker. So in this case, he's got Michael Vick, who's a lefty. And so it's important that he runs it to the left here. Uh, you see how quick the handoff is? If he ran it to the right, it would be a lot slower and more deliberate. Although he, it wasn't successful right there, True Boy, in a nice 4-3 under cover 6, which is a great run defense. But that is something to note just in general. If you are running halfback dives, you're going to want to run it a 2 the dominant side hand so and more times than not it'll be your right hand unless you're using somebody like michael vick really uh, so right here he goes z spot hits the drag route and so true boy's user was kind of in no man's land there he was he was using the left side of the field but he wasn't really uh using anything he's probably kind of fortunate that w didn't get in the end zone right there so he gets down to the two five for five 67 yards once again cover six so W going back to single back ace, it looks like. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So yeah, back to single back ace, 4-3 under. And HP stretch for a touchdown. Why was that so... Oh, True Boy got caught on the cornerback. So if you guys notice at the snap of the ball here, True Boy was going to slide in the cornerback. So True Boy wanted to slide the cornerback inside to get inside position right here. Just in case W did go with a stretch to the right, the cornerback would be inside the wide receiver. It would be able to shoot in and try and make a play. But notice at the snap of the ball that True Boy, he just clicked off. But you see, he accidentally actually input a hit stick command on the cornerback out there. And so that's going to leave the right side wide open. He doesn't even have to get blocked. Yeah, so that's just unfortunate for True Boy right there. Third and goal, accidentally gets caught on the, the cornerback. So good opening drive by W, though. I think he went 5-for-5. Five five. No incompletions really looked comfortable against that heavy pressure style defense from True Boy. Uh, that's pretty unique. And then had some decent success on the ground there. So well, let's see if True Boy can answer. So picking up where we left off, the game got switched to the Dreamy Chaos matchup. And then we came back at the start of the second quarter. And it looks like True Boy has been on quite a nice drive. We see him pistol bunch tight end. So it's definitely Arizona. Um, and he is in the red zone threatening first and goal from the nine uh, to tie the game up. So let's see what happens here. <clears throat> True Boy HB zone. And... That was unfortunate for W, but good blocking. I mean, if everybody holds their blocks, he walks into the end zone. He kind of gets a block shed, and W misses the hit stick right there uh, when he tries to click on. But that HP zone at a pistol bunch tight end is really, really good. And it's a run that you haven't really seen much in competitive play. But as you can see, it just gets really good blocks. It's pretty popular online. Um, it's just something that hasn't really translated to competitive play because a pistol bunch tight end, I think, is only in three different playbooks. I know it's Arizona, New Orleans, and then there's one other one. It might be New York Jets. Um, and none of those three are really super popular playbooks in competitive play. So it doesn't see much you know, airtime, uh, but it's definitely a very good run uh, in particular, obviously, that HP zone. So interesting to see if True Boy will be running that going forward. Uh, if he has anything else out of that pistol bunch tight end. So looks like they switched back to Chaos Drini. So I'll go ahead and skip ahead until we get back to True Boy Dubby. So right here, by the time we get back to True Boy Dubby, it's 4th and 19 and Dubby's punting. So I guess it looks like he was definitely sacked 
So maybe that 4-3 over fire zone 2 defense uh, from True Boy was starting to get to Dubby. Maybe he made some adjustments and, you know, figured out a way. So Dubby will have to probably deal with that going forward. So now True Boy gets a chance to take the lead. And we finally get to see True Boy's offense. So single back wing tight here. He's going to actually throw the ball on first down, throw a drag route, and going to get lit up. 3 for 3, 33 yards right there for Steve Young. W look like cover to sink most likely. That's what he likes to call. Yep. And this is actually uh, something that's pretty important. And it, it's not important on this play, but notice how... So he's in a cover to sink, right? And notice how his left safety is playing the deep left because of the fact that True Boy has a wide receiver on that side. So he's got to respect, you know, the deep left part of the field. But on the deep right part of the field, notice Harrison Smith, instead of playing a deep half, W puts him into a deep middle third. And because he doesn't have any receiving threats on the right side of the field, these tight ends, hypothetically, yes, this tight end could run like a fade route down the field, um, but he's not really worried about that, and I'm sure he's looking for that. Uh, if, if he saw that a tight end was trying to run something like that, he probably would run back with his user and try and defend it. Uh, but that's something that a lot of players will do, and it's a small adjustment, but it can be very important, is that if you're running a Tampa 2-style defense against a, an offensive set that doesn't have any outside threats, you don't have to worry about that half of the field. So you can go ahead and basically roll your coverage to the strong side of the formation kind of like a defensive shift in baseball where you know if they're playing against somebody who really likes to pull the ball a lot they'll go ahead and just shift everybody to that left side or right side of the field whether they're a lefty or righty and so that's kind of what this is you're just shifting your defense towards the strong side of the formation where they can actually threaten you and so uh, that's just something to keep in mind going forward I'm sure W will probably make that adjustment uh, throughout the game since True Boy does really like these single back three tight end formations uh, he was running them a decent amount with Philly and right here single back wing Z this time and you actually saw it on his play art he goes with the weak side safety and he has him in a middle third so let's see second and six what True Boy wants to go with here G making a lot of hot routes at the line actually goes with the little zone play Gets lit up off the edge by Eric Allen. Six carries, 27 yards, and a touchdown for Todd Gurley. So uh, you can see six carries, 27 yards, and then Young was three for three for 33. So looks like just a pretty efficient drive for True Boy on that touchdown drive that we didn't really get a look at. So right here he goes single back wing pair. So trips tight end on the right side with Evan Ingram split out left. And he goes with the halfback dive. And that's actually... So notice, I talked about this earlier, but notice how much slower that handoff animation is with Steve Young, who's also a lefty. So he's running the dive to the right. If you compare that to the Michael Vick halfback dive that W ran earlier in the game, it's a lot slower. So uh, that's just something, like I said, to keep in mind uh, when you are playing, you know, mutt, regular, head-to-head, -head, whatever it might be. Uh, just keep in mind the orientation of your quarterback's, you know, throwing hand. So halfback stretch had a single back tight wing Z or wing tight Z right there um, not really successful cover two sink so loss of three so cover two is a pretty good defense against those outside runs because you do have the cornerbacks who set the edge and then all it takes right there uh, it looks like W got a block shed with number 55 I'm not sure who that could be might have been bar uh, but yeah so cover two is generally pretty strong at uh, covering uh, those outside stretch runs so right here True Boy goes with a pass, ends up hitting a dot on a curl route. And this is actually important that uh, I just talked about the whole rolling the coverage to the left. But notice how Dubby knows that because he rolled his coverage to the left, and this guy right here is in a middle third, Dubby knows he has to account for this whole part of the field with his user. So see how deep he's playing? He really doesn't want to get beat deep. And True Boy actually had the perfect play call here. He had a deep crossing route coming from his left wide receiver that crossed over the entire field and was going to attack that part of the zone where Dubby basically took a player away from. So Dubby knew this and knew that he had to be back there. And so he had to pick either between the deep cross or sit underneath on this curl route. And obviously, Dubby made the right choice in this case. It was a great play call from True Boy to flood Dubby zones and put him in a lose-lose situation. Obviously, Dubby doesn't want to get beat deep. He gives up the 14-yard curl route in the first down. Uh, but that's something that he's going to have to account for going forward. Looks like True Boy is going to take this to the two-minute warning. And we'll see if he'll be able to go ahead and keep this drive going. So single back wing tight here. Looks like an inside zone. Spin move Todd Gurley. Another spin move and picks up some solid yardage. So 
really this is kind of just how true boy plays it's very balanced um a lot of times he likes to run it on first down and then he'll open up the playbook he doesn't pass the ball a ton so you don't get a ton of looks at his passing concepts throughout the game which i think really benefits him so single back wing tight motion ingram left to right halfback pitch and w does a great job with his user defender shooting gap 10 carries 36 yards so 3.6 yards a carry not great but you know it's workable for basically what true boy likes to do on offense as we split to a play here between Drini and Chaos, where Chaos throws a pick. So, single back wing tight on the bottom left box, if you guys can see here. Motions out a tight end to the right, basically making it look like single back ace. So, we'll see 3-4 odds still from W, probably still sitting in the cover 2 sink. Motions tight end back in to get him a motion start on a drag route. He's going to playmaker him upfield. And that was a dangerous throw. That probably should have been an interception. I don't know... Okay, W clicked on. So if W doesn't click on here, this is probably an interception by Ronnie Lott, who's definitely going to be playing that ball. Um, so W missed opportunity right there for W. Um, that was a 14-yard gain. Puts True Boy in field goal range, and that one kind of hurts whenever True Boy's throwing right at your flat zone defender. And really, it's it's user error. So 34-yard uh, line, first and 10, single back, wing tight Z here. And basically, True Boy keeps switching between wing tight and wing tight Z, and the only difference is which side the wide receiver's on. Uh, wing tight Z, the receiver's going to be on the two tight end side, and on wing tight, the re receiver's going to be on the one tight end side. So right here, uh, once again, he's in wing tight Z. Looks like he's going to go with a tight end attack play. Drag underneath, double post over the middle. Steve Young takes off, gets hit, and gets six yards. So it's going to put him at third and three here. Dubby's still in that cover two sink. So... I would like to see Dubby kind of, it seems like he's not really sending any pressure. He's, he's very content with sending three or four guys and dropping back. I would like to see him, you know, send six one time and just tell, because True Boy's running kind of these long developing route combinations. He's in this under center formation. He's sending out four receivers every single time. So he's blocking six. That was a good play on the outside right there by Dubby. But go ahead, send the house, send six guys and try and get either a guy free or get a lot of pressure on the quarterback, collapse the pocket, try and get a block shed do something to basically you know get him off his mark in this under center formation and that's kind of always been the problem for under center is you know heavy pressure style defenses um the blocking isn't fantastic and then the block sheds happen so quickly uh, because you're so far underneath and so uh, obviously true boys having pretty good success against you know just the normal cover to sink it looks like he definitely has the dots and has the route combinations to beat that so i'd like to see w get a little more aggressive going forward in this game in the second half maybe so W going to go ahead and run this kickback, and 12 seconds, first and 10. Probably not going to do much here. PA post. Just going to go ahead, throw the C route. Toe tap by, was that Devin Hester? So five seconds left at his own 45. Um, you know, maybe you can try and dial up a deep post route or something here. Looks like he's still in gun bunch. Looks like it's still PA post if I saw the play art correctly. Yeah, PA post. And True Boy got pressure. And Vic goes down, and that's going to be halftime. So True Boy up 10-7 at halftime. I think True Boy's playing pretty well. Um, I think Dubby should make some adjustments on defense. I think True Boy's shown that he's able to beat Dubby's cover two sink out of that three four odds. So I'd like to see him, you know, adjust a little bit there. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward and try and find the next segment of the Dubby True Boy game here for you guys. All right, so we're starting off second half. True Boy, HB stretch. Todd Gurley picks up 10 yards. So it looks like the same. Strategy from True Boy, basically run the ball on first down, see if it has success. If it doesn't, he'll go ahead and probably air it out. And he's just been having success with uh, with Dubby's, you know, cover two style of defense. So let's see right here. You saw Dubby's cover two once again. True Boy audibling from wing tight to wing tight pair. Let's see what he goes with here. He's got three tight ends to the right, making a lot of audibles. Outside pass lead to Bo Jackson. What a dot. Touchdown. So 50-yard dot on the sideline. And it looks like Dubby went ahead. I noticed this pre-snap, but I didn't know this was going to be a touchdown. He went ahead and shifted this guy in. And so I don't know if he was expecting out of that wing tight. So before, before True Boy audible, he was in wing tight. So I don't know if he was expecting maybe a run to the left side of this formation. And he wanted this cornerback in here for better run support so he could shoot the gap. But True Boy noticed this, and I think this was actually genius. If True Boy actually, if the split, I don't know how wide the wide receiver split is out of this wing tight formation. So let's see. 
So Ingram stops at about the 50-yard line. So he's, he's about on the numbers right there, on the right side of the numbers. And then when he audibles to the swing tight pair, if if the split, so he gets Bo Jackson out there, so he gets more speed. And notice how much further outside Bo Jackson is. So this was actually genius by True Boy, if this was his intentions. He audible to this formation knowing that the wide receiver would be split out further outside after seeing Dubby drag his flat zone in. And that would give him even more space to the outside to work with. And so it was a double whammy. He got more space because of a wider split. And he got Bo Jackson out there, who's obviously going to be a lot faster than Evan Ingram with the ball in his hand. So I'm sure that that probably was intentional. And if it was, that was super, super smart by True Boy. And that just shows very, very deep knowledge of the formations and that he knows how far wide, you know, the split is going to be from formation to formation. So good recognition of the defense by true boy and then fantastic knowledge of the formations by true boy right there so that's puts him in a commanding lead up by 10 w really needs to answer here and he hasn't really had much success on offense since that first drive that we saw him uh he was playing very well so right here motion out dig hb out true boy looked like he was in some type of cover three uh, go ahead and hit the drag route true boy was sinking back to guard the post route so w still seven for eight He's been making good reads, but we didn't get to see that one drive where he ended up having to punt. And so uh, since that first drive, he just hasn't really had an opportunity. PA post here, it looks like NW's going to go ahead and hit the C route. So that play before, True Boy was in cover three hard flat. Right there, linebacker cross three show two. And it looks like, yeah, he just had a linebacker playing the flat zone, the hard flat out there. And so easy read for Dubby with the PA post. And this is kind of what I was talking about, going back to the simple reads. Uh, that he was having a lot of success with early in that first drive against True Boy, like corner strike, PA post, just simple flood the flat zone reads. And True Boy, you know, was playing this aggressive defense. He doesn't have the resources to to defend against that right there. HP draw. And this is something I want to point out with his HP draw. Notice that tight end by uh, Delaney Walker. I, it does make the draw, it makes the blocking better, but at this point, I don't even know if it's worth it, because everybody knows if they see that tight end motioning at this point in the year, they know it's the halfback draw. Maybe whenever people started first motioning the tight end, it was worth it to do it, because people weren't 100% sure, but now, that's literally the only time you ever see somebody motion the tight end is for the draw, and you saw True Boy instantly recognize it and shoot in right there, so it's just, there's no, you know, no really guessing there. It's, there's no guesswork. It's it, Everybody knows it's the draw whenever they see that tight end motion. So I'm not a huge fan of it at this point in the year uh, because everybody's kind of caught on by now. But second and 10, let's see what W goes to. He was in corner strike, then he went PA post. So it looks like he stayed in corner strike. He has the flat, and that's that's a good throw right there. Um, And that's kind of what makes corner strike tough on the wide side of the field. So notice that True Boy actually has a cloud flat defender on the outside right there. Uh, but Dubby with the C route, and that's why on the wide side of the field, despite him being in a cloud flat, if Dubby waits, obviously, for this guy to cut and run his route, he's going to end up running into the cloud flat. But the cloud flat gets pulled outside by the underneath table route by the uh, running back out the backfield. And so that's what opens up this little bitty low pass opportunity right on the cut. And that's what you're going to see right as he cuts low pass. Safety can't come up underneath. Uh, the cornerback, despite being in a cloud flat, is too far out wide. And it's an easy pitching catch. So corner strike, just a very, very tough play to defend. This is the second year in the row. It's probably been the best play in the game or one of the best plays. So corner strike once again here for Dubby. Takes off with Vic. So, yeah, even when you have all the routes locked up in corner strike, uh, that's the extra element that Michael Vic can bring for you. Definitely stepping up in the pocket and making something happen with his legs. So just a tough scheme. Second and inches, Dubby goes down. Single back wide trips. Run stick. Probably fishing for a run commit there. It had to be a run commit, um, and that's I, I actually really like that play call from Dubby. Second and ele or second and inches, like you have nothing to lose. You have three downs to get you know half a yard, so take the first one and see if True Boy is gonna take the bait and go ahead and run commit because a lot of people had a single back wide trips. And he probably thought he was gonna run like a dive or something, uh, but right here third and inches, and that's why you go for the shot on second down because third and inches you go HB inside and pay up the easy first now. I would have liked to actually see W go no huddle here because True Boy is in this 3-3-5 odd. And I think he could have just ran HB inside down his throat until either True Boy probably would have had to call timeout or at least W would have got to within like the five yard line. But maybe he wants to stay a little further out because it's a little easier to throw the ball if he happens to want to open up the playbook. HB stretch out a single back ace there. And he ends up not really getting much 
gain of about one on the right there. Uh, so True Boy staying in 335 odd, cover four drop. So W goes to Gun Bunch, would be surprised for a draw. He goes corner strike actually, tries to throw a low pass, and he caught that. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. That was very lucky for W. Went corner strike, motion in the corner route to try and create some space, but True Boy actually had it well defended. He sends a cornerback blitz off the left edge. So cornerback coming off the left here. That's pretty rare from this nickel 335 odd, but this is just blanketed. He's got two guys sitting right here that he's going to cut into. Really, the right read was probably just going ahead and hitting the flat and trying to squeak into the end zone on the side, or even the opposite flat, but tries to kind of... He must have tunneled on this corner route and ends up paying off for him, but that's definitely a very dangerous read between three people. Very fortunate that he ended up catching that ball right there. Um, I'm actually surprised True Boy didn't like pop off or something. <laughs> But, yeah, definitely very fortunate for Dubby. But puts him right back in the game, 17-14 now. And it's True Boy's time to respond. So let's see what he does on his ensuing possession. And they're going to switch back to Dreamy Kale. So I'll go ahead and skip ahead until we get back to Dubby True Boy. All right, so we're back at True Boy Dubby. Third and 20. They seem to like coming back to this game at the beginning of the quarters. So first play of the fourth quarter. Third and 20, True Boy at the 38-yard line. Gun A slot offset. Also, something cool to note is that a dubby is actually in nickel 335, so he's not in the New England playbook defensively, which he had been in. He kind of started mirroring what Skimbo was doing. He had West Coast on offense, New England on defense, and now he's in 335, and he was in 3-4 odd earlier. So that puts him in either Baltimore or Kansas City as the only two 335 playbooks that also have 3-4, I'm pretty sure. So just a cool thing to note, True Boy, third and 20 inside zone, probably playing for the field goal here. And, yeah, I don't mind that. He was at the 38, so it would, would have been a 55-yard field goal. He turned it into a 41-yarder. Uh, ensure the three, go up six. And based on the flow of this game, I'd feel good if I were True Boy right now. With W hadn't really done much on offense since that first drive. You saw him score that touchdown last drive, and it was definitely a very tight and contested throw. So I would feel very good right now if I were True Boy up six, forcing W to either have to score a touchdown, which he hasn't really shown he can do, uh, you know, without a little bit of fluke since that first drive, and then uh, either that or he's got to score two really quick field goals here. So I would definitely prefer to be in True Boy's shoes right now. So gun bunch on offense for Dubby, obviously. 4-3 over, back to that look. He blitzes Larry Wilson and gets dotted in the seam. So I don't really, like, okay, I like that he came out in the scheme. I think it's pretty unique, and it definitely could have caught Dubby off guard at first, but now... At this point, I feel like, you know, Dubby proved that he has the, the recipe of success. Uh, True Boy going, it's a cover two on the left side. And then since he's blitzing Larry Wilson off the edge, he inverts his safety or his cornerback rather, and then shoots this linebacker out. So if True Boy's user defender isn't in the middle of the field, he has literally nobody guarding that part of the field since he sends six. And so Dubby, a nice realization here. Usually that route's just a clear out route, but right here, Obviously, if it's wide open in the seam at the snap of the ball, you might as well throw it. So I think True Boy needs to get out of that defense. W's been dotting it pretty much every time he sees it, whether it's out of PA post or corner strike or dig HB out, like right there. Um, so yeah, True Boy goes, looks like took some type of cover three, and Dubby. Dubby's actually been playing on offense like 12 for 14, 100 and what was that 176 yards and a touchdown so w's actually been playing well offensively in terms of moving the ball um he just hasn't really been able to capitalize a ton with a lot of points he's only sitting at 14 right there cover three match from true boy so trying to mix it up but i don't know just those vanilla style coverages i feel like a guy like w so he's back in the nickel 335 odd here goes with the crossfire w tries the low point the corner route and true boy got super aggressive right here uh, that that's definitely not a deep third zone. So True Boy went double flat on the left side. That's a hard flat and a cloud flat. So if Dubby would have hypothetically faded or streaked that outside receiver in the gun bunch, uh, that's a free touchdown. But pretty much every single popular setup uh, at a gun bunch never streaks the solo receiver. So I like that from True Boy saying, okay, nobody ever streaks this guy. He's always running either a C route or a drag route or a post route. So I don't have to worry about getting beat down the left sideline out of this offensive set. W tries to squeeze in the low throw and actually is probably pretty lucky that Harrison Smith wasn't able to make a play on that uh, inaccurate pass by Vic. So 
Second and 10, let's see, W goes bunch to the right now, flips it. True Boy still looking in that 3-3-5 odd. Looks like it might not be crossfire because of the way that that linebacker is playing. Notice how this linebacker here, who's normally going to be the one to come in on crossfire, creeps up into the box. That usually doesn't happen. He doesn't come that far up. So that should be a tell to Dubby that this is not going to be crossfire and to be expecting something else. So, you know, True Boy has run some cover four out of this. I think cover six maybe once or twice. So if I were Dubby, that's definitely what I'd be expecting, and especially now that the linebacker completely shifted out and he's not even at the line of scrimmage. So he's the guy who's normally looping through uh, the right side. He's not going to be a threat here. So a little bit of a tell defensively from True Boy um, as to kind of what Dubby can be expecting. And yeah, so he's on a spy. Looks like Tampa 2 dropped a guy in a middle third, and Dubby makes the easy read. Uh, the cloud flat gets actually converted to man-to-man -to -man coverage, it looks like, right here with the max protect. And so that's going to leave the right flat wide open as soon as True Boy... If you notice, True Boy makes a little bitty stutter here. He's on the he's on the underneath route. And then you see right there, he turns his back. He says, okay, I need to guard the underneath route. And then he started peeling back for the post route because he knows the post route's coming. Uh, but he actually quickly realized, oh, wait, my cloud flat's being converted to man-to-man. -to -man. I need to stay on the underneath route. Actually... Uh, just was a second too late because of the fact that he kind of peeled off a little bit. Larry Wilson ends up coming up making a play, uh, but W still gets the, he actually didn't get the first down, third and inches. So let's see what happens here. 335 odd and gun bunch once again. Looks like it could be crossfire with the positioning of that linebacker. It is. And once again, that draw with the tight end motion, like seven carries for seven yards. I know they're not all halfback draws, but I mean, it's obviously not working. Notice how, look how True Boy instantly knows with that, uh, with Kellen Winslow. He's sitting there, sitting there. He instantly knows as soon as he sees the motion, there's no hesitation whatsoever. And he comes flying through the gap. He knows exactly what he needs to do as soon as he sees the motion. And he ends up making a play loss of a yard right there. So I, I'm just not a fan of that motion at this point in the year uh, because everybody knows as soon as they see it, it's the halfback draw. Nobody runs anything else other than the draw whenever they motion the tight end in gun bunch so either have another play in your repertoire that also uses the same motion or i think you need to just don't motion anybody if you're going to run the draw so corner strike set up here from dubby true boy pressure off the right side and everything was bagged it looks like all right so let's let's take a look at this play actually a little closer so three three five odd from true boy True Boy goes with some crazy shenanigans. It looks like he cross-manned his safeties. Yeah, so he cross-manned both of his safeties. Uh, he cross-manned this one, his strong safety, onto the solo bunch receiver all the way over there. And then you're going to see he cross-mans uh, this one onto one of these bunch receivers. I think it might be the one running the dig route, the A receiver. Yeah, it is. So he crossmanned the A receiver and the X receiver, went with Cloud Flats. So it looks like he was in Tampa 2 and just crossmanned his safeties, has Cloud Flats on the outside. So corner route locked up. Uh, he doesn't have the C route. W went with the in route on the left side out of corner strike. So uh, this Cloud Flats actually guarding nobody, but he'd be in position. That'd be a tough play to ask your running back to make if you were to try and throw that in possession, catch it underneath, because he would be breaking very quickly. However, it looks like the, pro the probably the right read was to go ahead and throw the flat route on the right side, but I will say with this setup, Dubby was probably kind of tunneled over in the middle of the field because he was probably watching for the corner route, right? So True Boy does a great job of knowing that this is the route that everybody wants to throw with that low point right as he cuts. So True Boy's on that. So Dubby's second read was most likely coming back to the left side of the field and reading this underneath crossing route. And so at this point, that's not open because True Boy cross manned it. And then his third read was probably just, you know, follow his eyes, goes to the next receiver in the vicinity, and his third read's going to be this guy. And so really, Dubby probably didn't even read the flats on this play. Everything's kind of going over the middle of the field. Everything was covered because of two cross mans and True Boy users. Uh, he gets the pressure off the right edge, and there's literally nothing open. Dubby at least puts it up to give himself a chance, but True Boy in the area ends up knocking it down and that's a huge play for him now he's up six with ball and w was actually on a good drive there and true boy got stingy in the red zone so this definitely obviously favors true boy here single back wing tight z and this is probably going to be first down run second down run and then you know uh third down depending on the down and distance true boy might go to the air so second and nine one yard gain cover to sink once again wing tight z and it looks like it's going to be another stretch with Todd Gurley. 
ooh, fortunate for Dubby that Trueboy got caught up on his lineman there. He actually had a lot of space to work with and probably would have ended up getting tackled by that backside safety had he not got caught up. So now third and five. So first down here is really hurtful for Dubby because then that's going to run it down to the two-minute warning and it's going to force him to call all of his timeouts. So gun a slot offset. Trueboy looks like he's going to go to the air here. So he does go to the air, smash. God, that was a C gap by, or that was a B gap by Dubby. That was like an old school nano. So Dubby went with, was this cross? Yeah, it was crossfire. And this defensive end comes screaming through the C gap. No nano detection at all. Trueboy actually gets the ball off and is probably lucky that, you know, that, that guy wasn't in better position to make play. Ronnie Lott, rather. He had to throw that so quickly. Um, but yeah, that, that was just kind of a fluky uh, B gap right there from Dubby. Unfortunate timing for True Boy. Fourth and six, he goes no huddle. He's going to go ahead, looks like, go down to single back ace, skinny posts. So something to note, Dubby was in, obviously you can set your audibles, um, but Dubby was in crossfire. So True Boy probably knows he's either running something like crossfire uh, once again or checking into more of a vanilla coverage probably i mean all w has been running out of this is cover two sync so it's obviously probably either cover two sync or crossfire so that is something to note true boy gonna go looks like max protect block eight and i do remember this play so yeah w sends crossfire and true boy is gonna end up playmakering the right post route and throwing the deep one uh right as he comes back so let's kind of talk about this play a little bit so w goes with a Five-man rush, it looks like, drops six. True Boy blocks eight. So he has more than enough resources. So double post routes. And this is pretty cool. Uh, True Boy goes, so it's skinny post. So this guy's running a post route right downfield. True Boy goes with actually a playmaker. So he playmakers him to level out his route. And basically, that that's going to force True Boy to have to user him. Because at, at before, right, he would have made his way across the field and ran kind of into this backside safety. But now... He's going to level out and be kind of at an awkward position where the safety's not going to make a play on him. And a true, obviously, it's just kind of instinct to go after the guy who the playmaker indicator comes up under because you know that's a guy that your opponent's looking at, at in that moment in time. And so it definitely, I mean, it was the right play by Dubby here to go with him because as you can see, he's going to be open. He's going to be behind the cloud flat, but underneath that deep quarter, or not deep quarter zone, the deep half zone. So then... Basically, True Boy's only other read is to either, he probably actually had a little scrambling lane here, he might have been able to make it with Steve Young, uh, but his other read was this one-on-one -on -one right here, and so True Boy actually showed very good awareness, and he's actually going to time it perfectly here. You're going to notice right as that guy turns and starts coming back towards the quarterback, he actually throws it, and you even see the low pass call out, so just really a great play from True Boy, nothing that Dubby really could have done right here. Great knowledge, knowing he's going to work his way back. The low pass to prevent the safety from coming up underneath and jumping it. And I mean, the low pass right there might have made the difference. You see how close it was. The safety was all over Evan Ingram, Harrison Smith right there. And that definitely probably put this game on ice. Uh, first down for True Boy. That's a two-minute warning. So he's going to be able to run out Dubby's timeouts at the very least here. Although I already know kind of what happens down the stretch. So True Boy going to run the ball. Almost goes, did he go out of bounds there? No, okay. So that's going to keep the clock running. Dubby holds onto the timeout. Uh, wing tight Z goes to wing pair. Looks like he's going to still run HB stretch to the right. So that's going to cost Dubby some more. So he's definitely going to run Dubby's timeouts out now with that first down. So first and 10. He's going to run the ball a few times. Once again, another stretch. Third and 10. Uh, he goes pistol bunch tight end, HB zone. That was pretty obviously coming, and that was actually a very fortunate block shed and a clutch tackle for Dubby that somewhat kept him in this game. Uh, but if you guys didn't see here, Trubo going to run the clock down all the way, call a timeout, 19 seconds left. Looks like he's going to kick a field goal to go up nine, two possession ball game, but there's always the small chance that True Boy doesn't kick it perfect and Dubby blocks it. And if you block a field goal, there's a high chance it's a scoop and score, and that would be insane. So True Boy opts to do something equally as insane, and he actually ends up faking the field goal here, if we can get to it. He's going to go with a fake field goal shovel. So I believe it was Niles Paul right here underneath. Yep, Niles Paul gets the edge, ends up picking up the first down, and that's going to ice the game. So I actually like the play call. I don't think it's as gutsy as... I mean, it's definitely gutsy. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's very gutsy. But even if he doesn't get it, he puts Dubby at you know his own 15-yard line 
with, you know, 14 seconds left to go in the game. At that point, uh, you know, W's, the odds of him, you know, going 85 yards in 14 seconds with no timeouts is astronomical. So either way, I mean, True Boy's win percentage was through the roof, but that was a really fun game to watch. So that was the main reason that I wanted to break it down because it was a close game. It was a rematch between, you know, True Boy and W kind of have that rivalry a little bit going on. They played earlier in the year. W got the best of them and True Boy was able to get revenge. And it's, you know, nice to kind of look at a unique offense and defensive player in True Boy. And even W, he runs the West Coast. It's kind of more cookie cutter, but he actually played very well this game, I thought. So I thought this was a high quality matchup here between two really good opponents. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if this would be a style of video that you guys would like to see a little bit more of going forward. It's something that I really have a lot of fun doing. It's just basically a matter of if you guys want to sit around and uh, listen to me kind of talk for this long. So definitely leave any type of feedback in the comments. Uh, please, that would really mean a lot. And that's going to wrap up the video. And until next time, guys, take it easy.